Hello and welcome to my channel Original Works. I'm Lincoln and today we're going to go into Nomad Sculpt and show you how to hollow out objects two different ways with the extract tool and using boolean operations. Alright let's get to it. So here we have the default sphere and we're going to extract this shell. The first thing is make sure that your sphere is sitting on the grid line with a straight on view so that way when you select mask the sphere with a rectangle selection tool the whole thing that you're seeing Facing you gets selected and everything on the back side gets selected at the same time. Next we're going to check the select mask menu and make sure that your front facing vertex only is unchecked. And there you can see the whole thing gets selected by making sure that that checkbox is unchecked. Okay now we're going to go into the select mask menu. We're going to check the shell thickness and that's how thick when you extract this that's how thick this is going to be. Think of like an eggshell. You extract 0.1 it's going to be that thick, 0.2 it would be a little thicker, 1.1 would be really thick. And it will extract from the surface of your model you have on the screen to the outside thickness. And that's why you put it on the line at the bottom of the grid line. And you can see as soon as you hit extract, it's going to, the, what you're going to see is the mesh and it's going to poke down below the line. So we go back into the scene menu, you can see that you now have two objects in the scene. The, the original sphere you had in the middle and then the mesh is on the outside now. And that's selected so that's why you see that and it pokes down below the line. Now if we turn off the visibility you can see the sphere on the inside. And now we can trash can that, we don't need the inside sphere anymore. So all you have to do now is turn it to the side or you can leave it to the front and hit the split tool. And however you want to split it, cut it in half. And you can see here that it makes two colors, the gray and the white. And you can see here, as we rotate the gizmo tool, that it's nice and hollow. So that's how to hollow out with an extract tool. So you're technically not hollowing your object out, but you're making a complete shell of what you've created. Now this works much better on round objects. If you have an object with a lot of square edges, what you extract on the outside is going to have rounded edges. So it's better to use in this next scenario where you can use a little bit of both of these things together. Okay, next we're going to go into Boolean operations where you can cut an object with different shapes. So the first thing when you start doing Booleans, you may want to think about organizing how you have everything in your scene menu. So you can see here I've gone in and hit the pencil icon. You can go in and you can change the name. So I've got walls out, roof out. You really want to see how to organize this because if you have a lot of objects in the scene, you'll start getting confused on which one you want to cut and keep. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to turn the visibility for the roof off. We'll duplicate the wall section. I'm going to shrink one down. And now you can see it's going inside the wall section there. If you turn the visibility off for the outside, I and mean, you can see that it doesn't reach all the way down on the Z-axis. You know, it's not the same all the way around the sections there. And that's fine. We can just drop the inside one down a little ways and pull up on the Z-axis, the green axis, and stretch it into shape. Now this is where using the grid line helps you because now you can see roughly where, you know, you're an even pull all the way around the edges of the box. Now here I mess up and I, I forgot to switch the visibility, so I cut the wrong direction. You can see here I have a little piece cut, so now I'll go back in, double tap out on the screen, come back, flip the visibility. With booleans, the invisible part is the piece that cuts out, and there you go. That's an empty box now. Okay, now we're going to do the roof section. We'll turn off, we'll turn the visibility of the walls off. We'll duplicate this again, just like we did the walls. And you're going to see we're going to have the same issue. It all shrinks equally, so you end up having the same issue you did before, only this way it's going to be backwards because we don't want it, the excess sticking out of the bottom like this. You'll see as soon as we put the wall section up next to it again. You see there, you're going to end up having a, a problem because you're going to stick out with the roof section. So it's an easy fix. We'll just go into the trim tool and, and cut off that bottom piece. But this is what I was trying to explain with the Boolean operations. You usually have to do the inside cuts with more than one piece. So you'll take whatever your outside shapes are that you want to cut out on the inside and cut them into a few pieces 
add them together, duplicate, put them together so you can get a shape that you can cut all the way out. So we're getting pretty close. Now the roof section's cut pretty clean now. That looks pretty good. It's nice and even all the way around. Now we just move up that wall section. I didn't do it very well, but you want to remember to label all of your sections and pieces you want to keep. And it's easier to label them inside or outside or cut or keep or something. So here I just duplicated the wall section again, moved it down. I'm going to merge these two together. Remember to check the box to keep edges sharp. So now we have an inside shape and an outside shape. So it's going to be really easy to do this now. All we have to do is merge the inside two, merge the outside two, and then remember to flip your visibility for each one. So remember the inside one, you want to be invisible, and the outside one, you want to be visible. So when you voxel merge them, the inside will be cut out. So that's it. Hit it with a split tool again, pull it apart with the gizmo, and you have a hollow inside. Now I'm going to show you the huge tip. We'll just call this the soda can tip, and maybe it'll help you remember to always do this. So you can see I have just a can here. It's kind of a rough idea, and you can see it's just roughly hollowed out. Now that it's been hollowed and I put it back together and I sculpt on it, I'm going to grab the brush up here and just sculpt on it a little bit. You'll see what happens. So I, I back tapped it, just put it back together, sculpt on a little bit, and I'm going to voxel remesh it. Now, when you do this in Nomad and it's already been hollowed out, what's going to happen as soon as you remesh this, it's going to think you want it solid because it's already set to fill holes. And you can change some of that, but if this is just an easy thing to remember. So you open this up, now you see it's solid. So the way to fix this is to put a hole in it. And most of the time, if you're gonna be hollowing these out for 3D printing, you're gonna want a hole in it, drain hole, possibly if you're resin printing anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So the way to fix that is you re-split it open again with it hollow after your back tap a couple times on the screen to go back. And you put a hole in one half of this. It doesn't matter which one or where you put it. So I'm going to grab a cylinder, put a cylinder in here, and just put a hole for the opening of the can. And it, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is so you guys can see how this works. So you put a hole in it, just a regular Boolean operation. We'll just put the cylinder in, turn the visibility on the off on the cylinder, and cut a hole in the can. And when you put it back together and box a remesh, then Nomad is going to understand that you want to keep the hole. So now you have a hole. We'll slide it back together. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just, just so you guys can see how this works. We'll voxel merge it again. And when we look down into the bottom of the can, it's going to be one piece and it'll still be hollow. All right. I hope this helps. It can be super frustrating trying to figure all this out on your own. So I hope these videos help. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if this helps you out. All right, thanks.